I forgot I was wearing a hat. La la la. Hello and welcome back to the Freebooters Network. My name is Dale Kingsmill. I am your newbie guide through the newbies guide to Warhammer 40k. There's so many new faces here. If you came here from uh, perhaps the Geek and Sundry article, welcome, welcome. We're very happy to have you. If you're unfamiliar, this is my series where I someone who knows nothing about the lore of Warhammer 40k tries to explain the lore of Warhammer 40k so that other newbies can understand it. If you want to watch the series from the beginning, I'll throw up a card in the top corner so that way you can get yourself caught up. But for the rest of you, where were we? The Emperor himself, the big cheese, the big kahuna, has just stepped down from the Great Crusade, naming his uh, firstborn kind of... firstborn... his favourite son, Horace. Can they be firstborn? when they're, like, test tube babies? Probably not, right? He named Horace Warmaster, and he stepped back in order to complete a secret project on Terra. He was making a webway for humanity to use. But he didn't tell anyone this, he kept it a big secret to himself, and so all the Primarchs were feeling kind of abandoned. They're like, what the hell, Dad? You're just disappearing, leaving us to wage war against the galaxy, and you won't even tell us why? That's kind of rude. And then just to make matters just that little bit worse, uh, there was also a council of super bureaucratic, like, mortal, weakling humans who were put in charge of a bunch of stuff, which the Primarchs were offended by. That part I can't agree with as much because, it's, I mean, it's pretty arrogant or whatever to be like, we are the sons of the Emperor, we should be in charge because we are good at fight stuff. But I mean, hey, in the grim darkness of the far future there is only war, so maybe, maybe you should put the warriors in charge. Who knows? Who knows? On top of that, more things are causing tension between the Primarchs. Rogel Dawn is tasked with building the Imperial Palace on Earth. Is that what it's- on Terra. Terra, sorry, not Earth, sorry. And so Perturabo is perturbed by this. I, I'm very funny. And he starts hating Rogel Dawn. Everyone's like fighting with each other. You got this whole thing that goes down with Loga, 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 and the word bearers. Loga's the one I can remember the name of last time either. Who just keep trying to spread the church of the emperor. They keep spreading this idea that he's divine. Keep talking about his divinity when he's all like, don't talk about my divinity, I'm not divine. And so the emperor punishes them. He brings them to their knees in front of him and he shames them, humiliates them publicly. And they don't dig this. Not so much. So Lorga and his word bearers in secret become the first of these space marines. Uh, space marines. Oh man. Just how many times am I gonna stumble over words and end up with... We've got space marines. We've got the Imperials, Spurs Marines. The list will never end. It never ceases. This is my life now. They are the first of the Imperial forces to turn to the gods of chaos. Because look, you can't expect someone like Lorgar to go from Zealot to Zelittle. Ah! I'm on a roll! No, he just looks for someone else to worship. And he finds that someone else in chaos, which, I mean, look, I can't say I approve. And so they begin sort of spreading their whispers in secret, sowing them seeds of, there's a word for it, we'll go with rebellion, because I can't think of the word that I wanted. Then what happens? In amongst all of this, while this is uh, creating the tensions and the perfect conditions for everything to blow up in the Emperor's face, Ooh, that was a loud noise. Horus is wounded in battle during a mission on Davin, a feral world, by some kind of a fancy chaos sword, like a, a, a blade of Nurgle. I don't know what that means, but Nurgle is a is a is a chaos god, and this is a blade of 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 Nurgle. And the wound, no matter what they do, isn't healing. It just won't heal. So instead of Hightailing it back to Terra to try and get some help, Horus is taken to uh, one of the, like, lodges that Lorgar's men, the word bearers, had put together. And they convince Horus and all of his people to use this special ritual that they know about. Erebus! Erebus is the guy who's doing this. He's like a high up word bearer dude, I think. He's running this old, this ancient chaos ritual in which he appears to Horus in a dream with the face of Horace's best friend, who's dead, I think. And he says, Horace, my friend, it's very Aeneid. I have a vision for you of the horrors to come if the 
Imperial forces succeed in the Emperor's plan. The Emperor will abandon you, Horace. As soon as the Primarchs no longer serve his needs, he will get rid of them. Which, I mean, let's be real, is, I mean, probably true. This is the terrible future to come. All of humanity uh, bowed beneath the Emperor as a dictator, worshipped as God, and the simple masses don't know any better, and everything's like terrible and stuff. It was made obvious pretty early that, uh, that Horace was not seeing his best friend, but Erebus pretending to be his best friend, but somehow he didn't, that didn't make him go, mm, not gonna trust you. He still listened in and was like, hmm, I wanna hear what this guy has to say. So Erebus was like, hey! The gods of chaos don't care about the materium. Why would they care about the materium? You know who does care about the materium is the emperor, who only cares about power and material wealth. He probably didn't say that. But also, the emperor's already got all the power and material, whatever he needs. I don't, whatever. Horus is like, Keep talking. And so Erebus tells him, I was about to say lies, but I don't know if it's a lie or not, tells Horus that, uh, that the Emperor used the warp, the powers of the mysterious and corrupting warp in order to create the Primarchs in the first place, and shows Horus a flashback to when they were all scattered across the galaxy by the powers of the warp, the powers of chaos. And to, to Horus, he thinks this is plenty of evidence and he decides that the Emperor is it bad news? Magnus, most psychic of all, apart from the Emperor, bamps into Horace's dream and tries to put a stop to this. He's like, whoa, sensed a whole bunch of bad mojo going on. Horace, don't do it, bro. And Horace is like, it's too late, I've already turned to the dark side. And Horace makes a deal with the gods of chaos. They heal him, he gives them the Emperor, and they'll give him the galaxy. I'm sorry, who's the one who's power hungry? Horace wakes up and his wounds get all healed. He sets about uh, exposing his army to the corrupting influence of the uh, chaos gods and warp and the forces of chaos begin to take root. And here we are guys, the time is now, the Horace heresy is beginning. It's very exciting. The stage was set for a civil war. What remained now was to see who would fall to which side of the conflict. I hope you enjoyed that episode. We'll be coming back next time to find out what happens to which Primarchs and holy moly, things are heating up. On top of that, you can expect uh, very, very soon, we're gonna have a lot more of the Freebooters Network family from our uh, podcast network coming and making videos for the channel so you can expect a bunch more content, not just the stuff from me. Definitely look forward to that. We've got some great videos on the way. Some of it Warhammer, some of it General Tabletop, some bits and pieces. There's a lot for a lot of people. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to this channel, uh, like it if you liked it, leave a comment correcting anything that I got wrong, because that's the first port of call for newbies who are watching these videos. Check the comments to see if there's any corrections, because other people know better than me. It's kind of the point of the series. Once again, I'm Dale Kingsmill. You can find me making videos over on my own channel, Monarchs Factory, regularly. I hope you're having a fantastic week, and I will see you for the next episode.